Are you wondering what would happen to your body if you were to start fasting? Because if you are, you should know that fasting will provide benefits that extend far further than just burning fat and making your diet more sustainable and enjoyable. When your body goes without food for a certain period of time, you'll experience changes that affect your brain, your digestive system, immune system, hormones, and even the function of all the microscopic cells found within your body. When you first begin fasting, a few things happen at the cellular level that may cause hunger and fatigue, especially if you're a beginner. This is because your body will normally get its energy from glucose or carbohydrates. So depending on how much sugar you have in your blood and how much glycogen or carbohydrates you have stored in your muscles and your liver, it can take anywhere from 8 to 48 hours without food for your body to switch from mostly using glucose or carbs for energy to breaking down fat and using ketone bodies for energy in a process known as gluconeogenesis. Now to most people, the concept of going anywhere from 16 hours up to a few days without food may sound incredibly foolish and unhealthy, but the exact opposite is actually true, and it hasn't always been so mainstream to eat at least three times a day every day. And this is supported by research on modern hunter and gatherers that shows that they go between intermittent periods of feeding and fasting depending on the availability of food. For example, modern Bushmen living in Africa go through frequent periods of food deprivation ranging from 1 to 10 days when they can't catch any game or when they have seasonal droughts or especially when animals migrate. The truth is that most healthy adults have evolved to be perfectly capable of fasting and the good news is that you don't have to fast for 10 days to experience the benefits for your body. Just 16 hours will provide some really unique beneficial effects. And when going through your first 16 hours without food, the first thing you should expect is to start feeling really hungry, right around your regular meal times that you're skipping. This is because of a hunger hormone in your body known as ghrelin, which stimulates your appetite when it's released. And studies show that ghrelin levels will spike up at the times of the day that you normally do eat, which for most people is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This will happen to your body automatically. And if you give in and you eat before your fast is over, the same thing will happen again the next day. On the other hand, if you just ride out that hungry feeling, Within about two hours after the initial spike in ghrelin, it should drop back down to normal levels and your appetite should drop. And as your body adapts more and more to skipping a meal like breakfast or multiple meals throughout the day, you'll feel less of those automatic cravings to eat during those key times of the day that you normally find yourself getting hungry. If you allow yourself to adapt to consistently fasting for just 16 hours a day while eating a healthy diet during the other eight hours, your body will start to become much more sensitive to insulin. Having higher insulin sensitivity will not only help enhance fat loss, it'll also help you feel much better when your body doesn't have carbs available for energy, and it'll help reduce the risk of a number of serious diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and even thyroid conditions. Now, during each of your 16-hour fasts, about six hours into the fast, your body will begin going through another incredible process known as autophagy. This is a process where your body begins destroying old or damaged parts of your cells. When you're always eating, your body doesn't get a chance to do this because it's constantly rebuilding rather than breaking down. And breaking down unnecessary and dysfunctional components of your cells allows them to be recycled so they can perform optimally. This helps reduce inflammation throughout the body, which helps fight a number of diseases. The benefits of autophagy will also extend to your skin cells, potentially slowing down wrinkles, age spots, and acne. Your immune system will also improve thanks to autophagy. Your body will repair and produce brand new white blood cells, which will be stronger at fighting diseases. But on top of that, it may even help your body slow down the aging process and extend our lives. Now, this is something that still requires more research, but there have been some very interesting studies on animals that support this theory. For example, rats were divided into two groups at birth, and one of them was fed every day, while the other group was fed every other day, which is also known as an alternate day fast. Not only did the rats in the fasting group age much slower, but they also lived 83% longer than the rats that were fed daily. And there are other animal studies that support these results and show that fasting can help with longevity even when calories aren't controlled or restricted. Now, as your body cleanses and repairs itself with autophagy, there will also be a rise in the rates of neurogenesis in the brain, 
Neurogenesis is the growth and the development of new brain cells and nerve tissues, and higher rates of neurogenesis have been linked to increased brain performance and improved memory, mood, and focus. And according to the head of the neuroscience lab at the National Institute on Aging, fasting only twice a week could significantly lower the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's, and it can help you develop protective measures against damage from a stroke. This is because the shock of fasting stresses the brain in a good way, just like stressing your muscles when you work out. This stress leads your brain to create new cells. The stress from both exercising and fasting increases the production of protein in the brain, which promotes the growth of neurons, allowing them to send signals and communicate better with each other. This may explain why many people feel a lot more focused and productive while fasting. And it also makes a lot of sense from an evolutionary survival perspective. Since we would want the brain to work optimally whenever food wasn't available, because that would help us with the problem solving process that's required to actually find some food and survive. Now, one of the most important of the proteins that gets boosted from fasting is called BDNF. And BDNF has been referred to as miracle grow for your brain. It makes your brain more resilient to stress and more adaptable to change, helping with the production of new brain cells and protecting your current brain cells while improving memory and learning. Having enough BDNF is very important as we age because low levels of BDNF are linked to dementia, Alzheimer's, memory loss, and other brain processing problems. But the good news is that studies show that intermittent fasting anywhere from 16 to 18 hours has been shown to boost BDNF levels by 50 to 100%, and fasting for up to 36 hours has been shown to boost it by up to 400%. Now, if you were to fast for longer lengths like 36, 48, and 72 hours, your body will continue going through further changes. Most people assume that this is when your body will start to use protein for energy by breaking down muscle tissue. However, this is definitely not the case since research shows that your body's protein breakdown rates will drop significantly with within just the first day of fasting. And it drops further as you fast for longer. One starvation study showed that during the first three days of fasting, protein breakdown rates dropped to only 75 grams per day for an adult man weighing 150 pounds, which is less than half a gram of protein per pound of body weight. But what's even more surprising is that after three to four days of not eating, protein breakdown drops to a tiny 20 grams per day. So the truth is that most prolonged fasts lasting two to three days shouldn't cause much muscle loss. The body's ability to conserve muscle while fasting for longer lengths can be explained by another major change that will happen to your hormones while fasting. You'll have a huge spike in your human growth hormone levels. The change in human growth hormone won't really help you build more muscle since you'll still have a negative protein turnover rate, but it will help prevent muscle loss while fasting. In one prolonged fasting study, growth hormone levels increased by over 1200% at its peak. Just keep in mind this only applies to prolonged fasting, and most of you will only be fasting for up to 16 hours a day. So your body won't really hit that point where it's super conservative with protein, nor will you have that significant of an effect on your growth hormone levels. The other thing that won't happen is your body won't destroy its metabolism. This is another very common assumption that people have about fasting, especially if you're going without food for longer than 24 hours. But this is a total myth. First of all, if your metabolism does slow down from consuming fewer calories while fasting, it won't slow down any more than it would if you were to cut away the same amount of calories with a traditional calorie restricted diet. Second, there are a few studies out there that show the exact opposite, that fasting can actually help improve your metabolism by increasing levels of a neurotransmitter known as norepinephrine. But like I said, most research shows that fasting and regular calorie restriction both have a very similar effect on metabolic slowdown when calorie deficits are equally matched. Now, even though your metabolism won't slow down any more than normal, your digestive system definitely will. Since you won't be eating any food, your stomach will finally get a break. Most people don't realize just how much energy is required to simply digest food you eat throughout the day. But that's exactly why you feel tired after eating a lot of food in one sitting, and that's why some people feel like they have more energy when they work out in a fasted state instead of working out right after eating a big meal. But other than saving some energy on digestion, shorter fasts that are 16 hours in length won't require you to take certain steps just so you can break your fast in a way that you can avoid an upset stomach. 
While many people obsess about how to break their fast, it's really unnecessary since most people are only fasting for 16 hour lengths. It's only with longer prolonged fasts, usually lasting three days or more, that you may want to break your fast in a certain way to help your digestive system ease back into breaking down food. If you are doing a prolonged fast, then starting by reintroducing easy to digest liquids like bone broth and vegetable juice can help your stomach. After that, you could start reintroducing vegetables, fruits, and lean sources of protein. At that point, as long as your stomach is fine, you could start eating normally. There's no need to make this process crazy complicated. Now, one last potentially miraculous effect that fasting may have on your body, but this does require much further research, guys, is that it may prevent the formation and the spread of cancer. Like I said, much more research on this is needed, but there are a couple interesting initial studies. One of them was a test tube study, and it showed that exposing cancer cells to several cycles of fasting delayed the formation of tumors in the same way chemotherapy did, and it increased the effectiveness of chemotherapy drugs on the development of the cancer. Also, a separate study on rats following an alternate day fast showed that the fasting helped block tumor formation. Human beings are not rats, and they're obviously not test tubes. And unfortunately, it'll probably be a long time before we have solid, randomized control trials on the positive effects that fasting may have on cancer in human beings. That about wraps it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you understand a bit more about what happens inside your body while you fast. If you'd like to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Also, if you're looking for a done-for-you fasting plan that on average is helping my clients lose 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat while replacing it with lean muscle in just six weeks, visit my website and try my challenge. You'll select from a number of diet approaches, including intermittent fasting, one meal a day, keto, vegetarian, vegan, and much more, and all of them can be customized based on your body. You'll also get a 42-day workout plan, a recipe book that goes hand in hand with your diet plan and a private accountability coach to motivate you and push you through the entire process. To find out more, you can click the link below in the description or you can visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.